Hello, service and visitors, and welcome back to, to my channel. Today, I'm coming to you with like a uh, after my birthday haul, or yeah, that's what we're gonna call it. Yeah, after my birthday haul. So, after my birthday, or well, on my birthday, I started going to the store and buying different things. So, I have all of that here in this big old. I went to a couple of different places. And what I'm going to do is, since I have all the bags down in, in this big bag, I'm just going to pull a bag out and then we're going to go from there, okay? So, are you ready? <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, so the first bag I pull out is a Target bag, a Target, as Miss Glamour Addict calls it, the Red Circle Boutique. So, um, I went to dinner with my friend Ashley for my birthday, the day after my birthday, and she wanted to go into Target. So, hey, you can't go to Target without getting any makeup. And I actually helped her pick out some makeup for herself. So, I picked up a couple of items as well, some things I needed, and one thing I really wanted to try out. So, I picked up some e.l.f. Um, I, I picked up two e.l.f. eyeshadow brushes. And then I picked up a e.l.f. blending brush. Um, these are from the e.l.f. Um, Essentials line. These are really, really good. I do like the e.l.f. Studio line for the face brushes, okay? Face brushes for the studio line, like my concealer brush, my um, stipple brush, and my blush brush. So I do like the essential line, the studio line for my faces, and then I like the essentials for my eyes. Because to me, both of them are just, you know, are good. So these are the three that I picked up. The next thing I picked up was this Ardell Natural Starter Kit for the eyelashes. So I picked this up because I wanted to start wa um, wearing eyelashes, but hey. This girl didn't know where to start, what to do. So I had a pair of eyelashes that came with uh, eyelash glue, but I didn't like that glue. It just didn't seem like it was the right thing to use. I couldn't get them to stick. I then I was like, well, maybe I'm rushing or something like that. So I decided to just lay off. And when I saw this kit, because I actually went to tr get a pair of Demi Wispies, because I think that's what everybody is wearing. So I want to try them out. So I picked these up, and they have the lashes 109, but I have them on my eyes right now. And if you want to know about this look, I did um, do a makeup video for that. And I am wearing the Viva Glam Miley Cyrus. And you guys all know what this looks like. I have that on. And I also have on the gloss um, as well. You all know what that looks like as well. It is still, um, pink with shimmer in it. And, ooh, and that is that. Um, but anyway, this natural starter kit has um, one pair of lashes, adhesive, and an applicator, which is this little thing right here. I can't use it. It's too flimsy, so I end up actually just using regular tw tweezers. Um, So, I don't know how many times I'm supposed to reuse this, these lashes. So, if you girls know how long these lashes are supposed to actually last, um, please comment down below and let me know, okay? Okay, so let's pull out another bag and see what we get this time. Okay, this bag is from CVS Pharmacy. Um, I went to CVS because I received the email about... A survey and if you fill out the survey you get $15 extra bucks I filled the survey out and it took so daggone long for that survey but I filled it out and at the end of the survey there was a $15 extra bucks um, thing so what I did with that I decided I was gonna go to um, CVS to actually re-up on my favorite um, BB cream Cause this one is dang near empty so that's what i wanted to do and i picked up two other items as well i picked up some food items too um i ended up paying 
for the makeup products, I actually didn't have to pay for them at all. For the food items, I had to pay $8.24. But for the makeup items, I didn't have to pay anything at all. So, this is what I got from CVS. I got another um, Black Radiance BB Cream. And this is in the color Honey Amber, as you guys know. Um, I also picked up the pressed powder. Now, look at this pressed powder and the... I'm thinking I probably should want a shade darker. I'm not really sure. So we shall see once I use it. Mm. Oh, well, it, it works. It didn't leave an ashy tone or anything like that. So I'll let you guys know how that works out for me. And I also picked up this nail polish. This is a new brand. I haven't seen this one. It is called Pop Arazzi. And this is in the color So Cheeky. Like a little pink shimmery, a pink shimmery um, color. I actually picked this up because I was going to a ball and I wanted like a um almost like a blush color cotton candy. But when I put this on, it was a little wonky, little thick. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll try it again. Maybe I'll try it over a pink polish like my Nicki Minaj um, by OPI. Maybe I'll try this over that and see what kind of effect it gives me. But those were the three things I picked up from CVS. Okay, next is actually Dollar Tree. But I don't understand why I got this regular old thank you bag. But this is from Dollar Tree. So let's see what's in here. I'm just going to pull things out randomly. Um, I've been on the hunt for the perfect Dollar Tree since I've been watching Miss Glamour Addict. However, I have not found the one I'm looking for yet. So hopefully we'll find one soon. So this is from a Dollar Tree in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. So the first thing I picked up was this LA Colors Lip Gloss. And it is in the color Coral. Coral Crush. And, you know, spring is almost here, so I decided to pick up this color. And for some reason, I'm gravitating towards peaches and orange and corallies and all that kind of stuff. This is a really sleek packaging. If you guys haven't seen it before, it is it has a white top, but then it has the gold band with the gold writing. It's LA Colors. And what I do like about this product as compared to some other cheaper brands that... Most times the color is only on the package, but this color is also on the bottom as well. So let you guys know what you have. I'm going to do a little swatchy swatch for you. Okay, so this is more of a sheer color. It's not a liquid um, lip color at all. So this will have to probably go over something. Maybe I'll find me a peach, peachy, corally lipstick. You see, it's just a gloss. It has a little tint to it, but it's mainly just a gloss, okay? So, the next thing I picked up was this e.l.f. Lengthening and Defining Mascara. Everyone knows what the mascara is, what it looks like. Um, I picked this up one time in Talented, but I ended up putting it down and getting this one instead, which I have been in love with. You're probably going to see that in my January favorites. Um, but I did pick up this Lengthening and Defining Mascara by e.l.f. And it's supposed to achieve thicker, fuller, and longer lashes that are beautiful and natural. The unique formula is clump-free and quick drying. So you can have color that stays on all day with no smudging and no flaking. Okay? Um, and this is from the e.l.f. Studio, I mean, Essentials line as well. Because, you know, it's in the white packaging. The next thing I picked up was another e.l.f. Um, product and this is the e.l.f. dual eyeshadow and this is in the color mocha swirl i picked this up mainly for that brown right there and this is two beautiful powder eyeshadows and one convenient compact each gorgeous color can be worn along with together for a dramatic effect so i picked this one up mainly for that dark brown because you all know that i have a favorite brown that's inside of my e.l.f. little black book so i was like well let me find one so let's see. Oh, they're really, really creamy too, you guys. So if you find these, oh, that's pretty. It's more of a bronze than a brown. So let's get a little bit more. Means. I haven't played means in I don't know how long, but I see it to those notifications. Oh, my bag. 
So that is the brown color right there. And it's, oh, you know, they don't give me two different colors, but it's called Mocha Swirl. So it actually like a bronze color. And then this is the light color right here. It's like a champagne-ish color. I think those two colors will definitely be gorgeous together. So you know I'm going to do a look and I will let you guys know how that goes. Okay. The next thing I picked up is another e.l.f. Um, product and all these are from the Elf Essential line. Um, this one is an all of a color stick and this is in the color um, persimmon and this naturally illumin Ill illuminates for a healthy glow, instantly smooth, soothes and conditions skin, multi-purpose formula. So I purchased this to use as a highlight because I saw, I don't know if I saw it on YouTube or did I see it on Pinterest or Instagram that you can use this as a highlighting color or oh, illum illuminating color for your face and let's see oh it is really it's one that if you put it on your face as a highlight you're gonna have to work with it you can't see the thickness of it here because of that windows glare but it is a very good you know thing so i'm anxious to use that to see on my face the next two things i picked up are la colors um bold eyes eyeshadows pick these up mainly because of what they look like i didn't even look for the names of these but they just look so pretty how can i leave them in the store so i don't even know if they have names i may have to open the package and see so these are the la colors the bold eyes eyeshadows there's a color on the back of these and there he is so this one's called flashy and i can see why it's called flashy those colors are gorgeous and the other one is called lively Ooh, those are some great names for these products because that does look lively and this does look flashy so these are the two that i picked up so that is all from this particular um, store. Let's throw everything back in that bag real quick. Like. So, the next store I went to was Ulta. I ultimately went to Ulta to see if I could get my um, Ulta birthday gift, but apparently you cannot get the Ulta birthday gift until your actual birthday. And this was the Sunday before my birthday while we were in Tuscaloosa. And you guys, it was the funniest trip to Ulta in my entire life. So it started storming there and the lights kept blinking off while we were in there. Then one girl had a massive panic attack. It was hilarious, you guys. So, yeah. So I only picked up a couple of items. I picked up some very low-end products and I wanted to find a new primer because the primer I've been using, which is the Urban Decay, was a um, gift in one of my giveaways that I got from Miss Joanna. And it's a little, let's see if I can find it. It's a little sample that you get with different products. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And it's just a little one and I'm getting low on it. So I wanted to find a new one. And I picked up this Ulta Extreme Wear. But for the price I paid for this one, I could have gotten the, um, the Urban Decay one. But... Y'all was going to try new products, so I picked up this one. Let's see. I haven't opened it, and they make makeup so hard for you to get into, but you know, it is what it is. So, it is on a little dope with applicator, and it's pretty sheer, so we'll see how that works, okay? The other thing I picked up was an Essence product. It's called All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. Um, I need a, tra a good translucent powder. So I picked this one up. Um, it says extremely smooth fixing compact powder for a matte and natural finish all day long. Helps to blend blush and foundation colors together. Fixes makeup when applied as finishing powder for all skin tones. So this is this particular product. And it's just, uh, it leaves a, I don't know if that's leaving a shine or this highlight that I have on my hand, but we'll see how that works out. Of course, I'll use, um, I'll probably use this brush to apply it, 
but I've already set my makeup for today, so I'm not going to try it right now. The last thing I picked up was another Essence product, and this is the Essence Lip Liner, and this is in the color... Costa Nova? No. Cute Pink. This is in the color Cute Pink. And I picked this up to go with my Viva Glam. And I think it would have went really, really good, too. So... Here's the color. This is it. So I picked up. That's the last thing I picked up from Ulta in that particular trip. You guys, if you see the color, the light changing in here, don't mind me. I'm trying to find um, the best lighting in this particular room for filming. And I felt like the light above and this light was just too much. Now I feel like it's too dark. We're just going to go with this and see what it looks like once I upload it. Here's another Dollar Tree. So this was from actually last night. Um, This one, this Dollar Tree was actually in Birmingham, Alabama. Okay. So it kind of let me down too. But I found a, a, a good number of products. I could tell that they did have more products because of how bare the shelves were. And how you can see some of them were open. So I'm sure that if I try that particular Dollar Tree again during the week or something, I may find some better products. So we're going to just pull out the bag. Of course, I Elf. I found three Elf glitter eyeshadows. And you guys, I've been into glitter and bold eyeshadows lately. So I picked these up. And these are from the Elf Essential line as well. And this is just Elf glitter eyeshadows. And the first one is called Flirt. Look at that. How beautiful is that color, you guys? And the second one is called Beachy Chic. You see that? And the last one is called um, Nature Girl. And I'm not sure why they call this Nature Girl because I guess it is, I don't know. To me, it's gray, like cement gray. But the glitter in this thing is so freaking amazing. Like, let's see if I can quickly swatch for you. And it gives, like, it looks cement gray, but it gives you green, forest green. It gives you a variety of, like, this, this, this is a good color. Like, I like it. And I really don't like to buy single eyeshadows. I prefer palettes. It's just easier to keep up with. It's easier to use. However, what I've been noticing is that I like to have a name for everything. And when you have a palette, if it's not a high-end palette, the names aren't in there. Okay, so these are all the three of the colors. This one is Nature Girl. Now, you see how it gets off that forest green color now? And then this one is Beachy Chic. And this one is Flirt. Is it Flirt? Yeah, just Flirt. And then I do like that these have the nail on the back as well. So, but those are some really, really gorgeous colors. I'm excited to try them because I am in love with me some glitter. Okay, the next two things I picked up are actually, actually for my house. Um, for my like I know you guys love Bath and Body Works candles, but for me in my house, I can go to the Dollar Tree, Max Play, the Dollar General, and find me a scent because of the fact that I like fresh linen or a cotton smell for my house. Um, I do have one candle that is not a housey smell but it's my favorite scent for my house because I have it all over the house and I'll show you guys that in my favorite video but these two are air fresh candles it says compared to Glade and these are the fresh linen smells and you y'all when we say it smells like fresh linen you know how it smells when the dryer is going and you have your fresh white load in there and you just put it in a dryer sheet this is what that smells like. It smells amazing. And then what I do like about the candle itself is that it is, there's nothing on the bottle. So you can put this anywhere in your house and it looks good. It doesn't look like it doesn't belong. So having that, that clear glass 
can be just a cute accent piece in your home and i got two of those the next thing i picked up was just a la colors um liquid eyeliner just to replace the one i have and the next two things is glamour attic i'm sure you're gonna approve are some milani baked eyeshadows okay the pink one is called must have fuchsia yeah see that it's gorgeous and then the second one is called fusion and you can use these wet or dry so there's fusion It gives me that galaxy feel. It's not really much of a color, more of a glitter, and maybe when it's wet, it'll give you a color. And the fuchsia. Oh. Okay, so there's fuchsia, and then that's the fusion. So those are that's all that I got from that particular Dollar Tree. So. Let's pull out another bag. So I, I got this is the last bag, and this is actually from the Dollar Tree. And this is for my big birthday gift that I have. I haven't showed you guys yet. I'm gonna do a birthday gift video, and I'll show you my big birthday gift. So I just picked up some items to try and uh, decorate it to make it look better. So I picked up this little tray here. So it's just cute and I plan on putting my fragrances on this particular tray. I picked up some, these are actually, it says a clip cup. So these are actually like desk decorations. But what I'm going to do is actually cover them in uh, glitter or uh, glitter duct tape. And I'm going to set them up there. So I have two of that size the clip cups then i have two pencil holders and these will be for my brushes a face brush and an uh, eye brush so they'll go in here and i'm actually going to make a separate cup for my dirty brushes so i always know which ones i've used which ones i haven't used yet okay so i picked these up and i'm actually going to decorate them with glitter or glitter duct tape and put them on my vanity and then i have this particular thing for my drawer um i only picked up one because i didn't know if it was gonna fit in my drawer or not but i got this for like little loose end stuff like this particular thing so i could just put all those in there i do have another thing coming for my vanity it's coming in the mail i think i may get down monday it's a lipstick holder and a drawer set so i'll show you guys that as well and then i'll show you my vanity when it's all completed but i purchased this and i don't know if that's gonna actually fit in this thing on drawer let's see hold up I'll be right back. I have this particular product right here because I went to the store to. What did I go to the store for? I haven't decided to go where I went to the store. But anyway, I picked this up because I'm going to another ball tonight and I wanted something glittery. So I picked up this one. But I picked this one up and I wasn't going to show you guys because I didn't know if I was going to do my video yet. And I didn't want to use any of the products until. Uh, until I was actually going to show you guys this stuff. But this is a uh, Wet n Wild. Color Icon Glitter Single, and it's called Bleached. It's intensely sparkly glittery, glitter luxuriously smooth formula. So, let's see if I can break into that without breaking a nail. Nope. Can't get in. Why are these products so hard to get into? Okay, so it's a little bitty single eyeshadow. They have a bunch of them. This is in, I guess, their new formulated line. You know, the little, the new display they have up. All this is stuff. This is something that was in there. Oh, it is, it is thick. And it looks like it's just thick on the top. Like this was layered or something. Yeah, because that didn't even come off my hand. y'all see that okay so i'm gonna have to work with that it's like super super thick but now that i've used some of off the top i don't know if the glitter actually goes all the way through and i'm gonna be upset if it does not go all the way through okay so i have one more package so this is my ebay purchase um this was actually one of those 
I made a mistake. Like I accidentally ordered something off eBay. And like this was literally an accident. Okay. Um, it was, I thought it was coming from China, but it did not come from China. It came from California. It didn't take long to get here. Um, but this is it. And it was only $3, I want to say. But I wanted a flat top kabuki. I was going to actually just go into a store and look for one. But since I made a mistake and ordered this one, I'm going to use this one. So, it looks like this has a pink handle, gold hardware, and it is flat. And I got this to apply my liquid foundation because I tried to use, I tried to use this brush, but I guess it was too round and I don't know, but I couldn't use this. But now that I have this brush, I realized I could have just used my Elf powder brush. Um... I guess not. This one is a, the Elf powder brush is way too big. I probably soak all of the liquid up, but I'm gonna give this one a try and let you guys know how that works out for me. And then I have one more thing. This is the glitter duct tape. Um, the boo actually bought this to me, so I don't know if I'm gonna use this one or I'm gonna use a silver one that I already had to decorate my vanity but these are all the things that i've purchased or picked up since my birthday so this is my birthday haul and i hope you guys enjoyed if you've used any of these products let me know if you want to see any of these products on me let me know and i'll do a look for you guys make sure you comment make sure you thumbs this video up make sure you share it with your friends and most of all make sure you subscribe if you're just visiting because i'm always trying to bring you new things and have fun with you guys on camera and I just love to be here. So if I like to be here and you like watching me because, hey, who would like watching me? I'm just kidding. So make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And until the next time, bye.